Hi guys, so today I finally found the uh, die set from Spellbinders I was mentioning the other day. It was like a gatefold, like flip fold type um, die that is on super sale right now. So I'll have links to any items. They'll be in the description box. Uh, there will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase any items through those links. And yeah, so no, what's funny, I was like, I know I have this thing. I even looked up my old orders. I'm like, yeah, it's there. And I... I was here doing something else yesterday. I looked up and they were sitting right in front of me because I told you I knew I wanted to show these to you guys. I wanted to use them. So I literally had them sitting on top of my Xyron that's sitting here. But anyway, um, so one of them actually was this, the cute little um, recipe card set that I think is just so adorable. And it's called recipe card set, but um, it has the journal lines or the lines, which I guess you could use on a mini album if you wanted. And then it has the little rolling pins and stuff and then the cute little uh, card and just some other uh, dies in there but this is the one I was looking for um, the large die of the month for December 2018 and it's uh, many thanks gatefold so this set will cut your card it'll cut the layers for it and some other cute things so we will try this out today I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna use the paper from this month's spellbinders um, uh, card kit. I'm not going to do the whole card kit because obviously you guys want to see the review of the card kit itself and not just pieces of it used with this, I think. But I do have an extra paper pack for it, so maybe I'll use that today. Um, and then just real quick, thank you guys so much for being so kind yesterday. I just wasn't feeling it. I woke up, you know, just uh, not feeling great. 2020 is a very long, long year. <laughs> and um, I just wasn't feeling it. And then when I opened the stuff for the uh, Crafters Companion kit uh, for the Peacock, I was like, uh, my mouth, my jaw just kind of dropped because it was, it's going to take work, right? So it's a gorgeous set, but it's not uh, super easy to work with, in my opinion. I wish I had a die for this specific stamp because that would have been great. Instead of the die that's just like a peacock that you emboss, I would have rather have a die for this and not do that embossed peacock one because that's going to be difficult to make look pretty anyhow because it's just going to look really basic. So I don't know. Anyway. Thank you guys. So, thank you. <laughs> um, everyone who's like, you sound so sad. And I guess, you know, I didn't edit the video. Like, I don't go and listen to myself again. I just listened to the very end of the clips, the beginning, in case I needed to edit something. So I was like, oh, I guess I must have sounded set more sad than I thought. <laughs> so anyway, thank you guys so much. And real quick, I did want to mention, hopefully these are still available. I didn't check, actually, today. Uh, the Jane Davenport binder that are for, like, five bucks in the Spellbinder sale. Um, the semi-yearly sale is going to end on the 27th, so it is a good, like, week and a half sale. I just want to show you on this one, I'm putting my Annabelle Spensley stamp. So it always, it has, like, two or three, two larger um, pieces. I already did a review on this, but it has a, a place in here um, to tuck things in. And it has your uh, clip here. It has these two larger ones. I put my little Annabelle Spensleys in here just because I thought they would look cute in here. And... That's what I got going here. Obviously, I have room for more. And then there's still plenty of more of these um, dividers. And then in the back, there's another uh, folder there. So just want to show it to you because five bucks, it's a great deal. And I have one full Elizabeth Craft Design things. All my uh, journal, like all the dies that I have to do with that company. I have one that's full of Jane Davenport stuff. And I have one that's full of um, Dilution stuff. And I have a couple on the way. So really great binder. I think they're really pretty. I'm going to line them all up when I get my origami cart in. Hopefully that comes in sometime soon. Um, it's on extended delivery through HSN. One other thing really quick. Um, if you are enjoying Elizabeth Craft Designs and you've checked out their um, uh, store, I'll have the link in the description box. They have a 20% off right now, your total purchase. I'll have that in the description box also. And also I just picked up a new affiliate, uh, Pink and Main, and they make really cute things. They're kind of an expo... Um, circuit kind of company and just really cute stuff but i'll have the link there if you've never heard of them you can check out some of their dies and stamps and you know, just another company to think about um okay so let me grab some papers but like i said we're going to cut out obviously the main card piece and it makes a standard a2 size card because basically this is going to fold over a little bit so the card is five and a half by four and a quarter by the time you fold this piece over so it's just it looks really small right because the piece of paper is smaller but it's just that it'll open up um, a little bit so it's an interesting size card and then we have um, panels that we can decorate with I do like this little cute um, kind of um, lacy edge kind of panel um, okay well let me just grab some stuff and we'll get started okay, I have a lot going on here I was trying to look at this and you know me I like to open things in front of you guys so I didn't open it to look at it yet but just from looking from the cover I think this purple background might be cute I love this little paper with a little gnome so let's see what we got here 
like a hound's tooth, little leaves, checker. Oh, those are so cute. I love the style of those butterflies. Some really cool, oh, that's really cute. You can cut them up smaller if you wanted. Geometric design, little dot pattern. Oh my gosh, the rainbows. So this paper pad is called Whimsical Forest. I don't know if it's available quite yet. Um, I know I added on a second pack for my card kit, but if it's there, I'll have the link for you guys. Uh, flowers, the little trees, oh, the little mushrooms. That is adorable. So I was thinking about using this one because it's kind of basic. I'll pull this one out just in case. And then oh, the little wood. I want the one with the gnomes. Flowers. Oh, this is like so cute. It's a little bit schoolhouse, a little bit, you know, uh, country, little gnomes, the plaid, that cute little flower, this one. I just couldn't tell what colors were in there, so let's hold that. And then we're going back to the, so two of each. So I was thinking, obviously this will be here. Sorry. And then this will be on the inside and this one on the outside. Is that too light? Because then we have little flower cutouts too. Um, it's always hard for me to envision things like this, and we're going to close it up like that. And then we also have that other side panel. Hmm. Okay. I do like that better. And that was just changing this, you know, the orientation of the paper. Okay. Because we also have this guy right here. So let me think. We'll have enough plenty if we have that color, the stripey one on this side. Okay, I think we're good. Um, okay, sorry, I was thinking about my coffee. And then, you know what, I changed my mind. I'm gonna use a cream colored card base and I'll use the purple for accents. I think that'll be better, because, yeah. So, let's move this to the side for now. Oops, sorry. And this paper's already cut at five and a half by four and a quarter from another project that I was doing, so hopefully this will work. Yeah, it's right on the edge. So what I'm gonna do is make sure that that stays right on the edge. It's already cut at five and a half and then just run this through. This is unfortunately too big for a uh, marquee or like your Empress Mini. Um, oh, I did ask you guys and no one has answered me yet on this. <laughs> if you have the Spellbinders uh, cutting machine, die cutting machine, I would love to know about it because it is on sale right now. And I would be interested, especially since Cuddlebug is basically obsolete. They're not gonna make, um, they stopped making the um, plates for it to cut. I have plenty of plates, so it's not a big deal. Mine will still work for a long time. Um, and then I have, you know, my big shot and stuff like that. But I always like to have a hand crank that's um, not electronic. And I know um, Tonic has one too that I'm thinking about getting. So, you know, just wondering. So I'm putting, oh, somebody asked me the other day, like, oh, I know you always say not to cut into your metal shit or your magnetic mat on the Gemini or not to put it with the dies. It's because it gouges it really bad. As you can see, I've done a pretty good job. There's a couple little gouges, even that. I always put the metal plate, then I put this guy, then I put the plastic shim or plastic shim, then magnetic. I, for me, the magnetic mat, it's so weak, it doesn't really hold the uh, dies anyway, so there's no point in that. The strong one is the Empress um, Anna Griffin's magnetic mats hold really well. But um, for me, it's just there for the thickness, so I always just keep it away from the dies. Otherwise, it gets gouged up really bad and really ugly, so. All right, let's get this cut. And I literally just got that question yesterday, so I try to explain in writing like what I mean by that. I just keep the magnetic mat away from the dies, that's all I, ooh, sorry, this sounds horrible. <clears throat> and that is my Gemini Junior, and she is sounding a little, but she's still cutting. Oh, you know what? I'm going to take the tape from up here. Oh, and that's the other question I get. What tape I'm using. This is <laughs> Crafter's Companion low-tech tape that we always joke is full-tech. <laughs> it's, like, it's very, very sticky. So uh, one thing I always forget to do, especially with a sandwich like this because it was really tight, is before you lay it down, just really kind of, I'll show you in a minute. Just kind of put it on your shirt or your whatever, or just touch, 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 touch it. Look at that, look at that. Just touch it a lot so it goes away, uh, the tack goes away. Look at how nicely it cuts. Of course that low tack tape is on there. Okay, we have that. Let me put this to the side. <clears throat> oh, and I was asking you guys about your weather and everyone's getting some nice fall weather. Yesterday was the last hot day. It's supposed to be in the low 80s for like the next week and a half at least, hopefully. Um, okay, so we're gonna cut these guys. 
inside panels. And I just want to make sure, since I wanted this, okay, so the little, the one with the gnomes is going to be the less, <clears throat> the smaller panel. Sorry, I had something in my throat, always. Okay, so I'm gonna put that one there. I'm gonna put it as straight as I can. I mean, it's a pattern, so it's kind of wild. What I mean by this is like kind of low tech. Take <laughs> some of the stick off or put it on your shirt or something that gets like some lint on it. Um, hold on. I was gonna tape this down. This is exactly six inches because it's six by six paper pad. So I'm gonna put it right there and not waste too much paper. But also I don't want it to move. And then I'm going to do the same for the other one. So I'm going to run this one through. These will go through your marquee, but I mean, if the card base, you know, doesn't. Right now, I'm just going to continue working this way. But I do like to use my marquee more than anything else just to do that. And then this other one, again, not, well, this is striped, so it doesn't really matter because I can just turn it. But just know that it's going to go this way. And I'm going to cut it out of this paper like that, nice and straight, and run that through too. Okay. So this is layering weight paper, just so you know, it's not like cardstock in the... I'm not trying to put too much on the piece that we need here. Okay, I'm going to stick these down just to have it ready, and I'm going to go ahead and fold it now too, just to train it a little bit. I'll put those away, I think, for now. Everything else I can cut in the marquee. Okay. So this little guy goes here, and this one goes here. Super cute. All right. And again, use whatever uh, glue you like. For something like this, especially with layering weight paper, I would not use a tacky glue, and that would include like the deluxe adhesive or your call all tacky glue or any really <laughs> real tacky glue because it will warp your paper. So I'm just gonna go through here. And I always have links for the glues in my in the description box, okay? Just because I know sometimes people ask about it. And it doesn't mean like, okay, go buy it there. It's just there. And if you want to see a good picture of it or n learn more, you know, information about it, it it's there. Um, and then you can source it wherever you like, of course. Do, 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 do. So cute, that paper. Can you appreciate how adorable that paper is? <laughs> Look at that. So cute. Okay, I'll stick this one down the same way. I'm going to give it a little minute to stick, and I'm also going to train it now, or like go ahead and fold the card up, just because I like to do that better than when everything's kind of layered on here and then have to kind of try to get it doing what it's supposed to do. So let me just let this dry. Oh, that was pretty good. And I'll be back. Okay. So I believe, yeah, so this is going to fold back on itself, and then this part will fold forward. And you can see on the back, so we have other flip cards that are like this. If you want to design it this way, you know, put your little thing on this side and design on this side. It's just more traditional, kind of like what we used to do back in the day, but this one is designed this way. So they're just doing the reverse, um, and that's kind of what they recommend, which is kind of interesting. But again, normally our flip cards are like this, and you would decorate both sides if you want or however. And that way you have your sentiment right there in that circle in the middle. This one's a little bit different, okay guys? <laughs> and you might think, uh, yeah, she's wrong. No, this is what they want you to do. And that's kind of why I was looking at this one. I'm like, this is interesting. But you see that little piece, it folds backwards. You can de decorate it and use it however you like though. One way or the other. I'm just doing kind of what they're showing. Um, okay. So what I have here, I have some scraps. I have that purple that I said I wanted to cut. I think I want to cut uh, just on one side. I'm not gonna do this side with the purple. So I'm going to do this one. And then out of, I was looking at the colors that are in the paper here. That has like a blue, like a turquoise blue. I'm looking at all these different pieces that I was trying to develop that slimline card. And I have extra pieces of paper here. So I'm going to take some from here. And I'm going to cut out, where's my scissors? Oh, here. Obviously I need a piece that's not completely fold it up. So I'm gonna quickly just cut this guy out of you know one piece here. And I'm just taking this step by step because I'm not sure exactly what I want to do. And then I'm gonna take this guy if it goes at the same time of this guy I'll do it together but if not we're gonna do it separate but let's see here. Oh good okay so this is just a perfect circle it doesn't really matter where this thing lines up in there but we're just going to put it in there and of course you always tape this down real well and for this one I'm not going to take tack off because I really want it to hold <laughs> so I don't want that to move at all 
And I'm going to pop these through the marquee, and I'll be right back. Okay. So I think I'm going to pop up the um, this guy, right, on this side. But I can't pop it up quite yet because I don't want to get smashed while I'm working on other things. But I'm going to put this here, and then it turns this way, right? But I'm going to pop it up, so I'm not going to glue it down quite yet because I'm going to use my 3D glue gel. And on this side, I'm just going to stick this guy down. So I'm just going to glue that down real quick, and then I'm going to decide again what kind of flowers. Actually, I'll just do a whole, just cut out a whole bunch of them and see what we do. Let me get this down. Oh, really cute on here. I did want to mention it does a little embossing at the same time. So it does a, like this line around the circle and this cute little kind of pushes in there. And it's so funny because I was like, oh, look at that, the tonic set that I reviewed recently. And... Um, Apparently, people have been doing that with their dyes for a long time. I just never noticed. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this is something, you know, new as far as it just uh, making an impression. But, yeah, I mean, it's almost similar like this thing, right? When you have dyes that make, like, little dots or little impressions like that. Anyway. Um, oh, I was going to mention, for whatever reason, the, um, well, the uh, tonic craft kit had sold out, but they brought more back. It is what it looks like. It, well, the monthly subscription had sold out, but now they have more monthly subscriptions. So if that was something you're interested in, it's available again. Uh, the one with the bobbles, that pretty Nordic bobble, Nordic diamond bobble review I recently did. And I'm thinking about making a card from that same kit, so keep an eye out for that. Okay, so now this is what I was... You're supposed to decorate with a bunch of little flowers and things. So I think I'm just going to cut out a ton of little flowers and see what we end up doing with them. So I have this guy. I have this guy. I'll cut out some of the same like blues and purples and maybe some pink. Yellow. I don't know. Whatever's in here. And then cut out some of this little foliage and like green colors. And the way I do this, I'll look at my scrap pile and just pull out scraps of colors that will, would coordinate. Okay. So I'll cut out a bunch of these. Maybe some of the leaves. Um, they do have like little centers if you want or something This has, has this center. Um, I might just leave it alone. We'll see about that. I'll cut some of these out too. And then we'll decorate it up and I will be right back. Okay, I see my little creative mess here. And again, I'm just grabbing scraps and I cut the leaves and the greenery two at a time out of two different greens. So that way it just popped out really fast. And then now I have these little guys. And I was putting everything back as I was using it. But as you can see, just scraps of paper, <laughs> literally. Whatever was left of that purple piece, I got my purple flower from there. And there we are. Okay. So, if you take inspiration off of here, and what's nice about this set is that it, used, it was a monthly kit. I don't know what was gluing this down before, but anyway. Um, there's lots of inspiration online there about it. Um, so this one, they tuck things up in here. On um, this one is more just kind of around this area. I thought that was kind of cute. I don't know if I'm going to leave the flower centers open or not. But anyhow, let's see what we're going to do here. So I have purple there. Kind of thinking about just leaving those open. And then we have lots of sprigs and cute things that we can tuck in here and there. I might have gone a little bit leaf crazy. <laughs> I think that'd be cute to over like lay them this way. So okay, I'm just gonna start building up here, and maybe I'll use this guy. So as I'm sticking this down, just make sure to avoid this piece because when you go to pop it open, you don't want things in the way. And I'm just putting glue down the center, but if you really want to glue them down, you can obviously glue them down much more. So what I'm trying to say is when you open this, you don't want something... Well, I guess if it was here... Well, let me think. Yeah, you don't really want something pushing it there, or being in the way. I'm just going to start putting some glue. <laughs> this is where I'm just going to start doing some stuff here. Oh, okay. I'll be right back. Okay, if that goes off again, I don't know what to tell you because it was my <laughs> niece and nephew. Okay. What I'm going to do is stick these down and then I'll put the pink one popped up and then maybe tuck some more flowers or leaves in here and there. 
So again, it does cut out the center. Oh, hold on. <laughs> I guess I can mix and match the centers, huh? I need my tacky tool. Oh goodness, where is it? I don't like fussing with little things, so I didn't think about this. Oh, but then the pink one won't have one. Well, maybe I'll just cut one out for the pink one, but this guy can tuck right in there. Yeah, why not? Right? All right. And then I'm gonna stick this one down. Hold on, how big is this flower? You know what it is? I need to move this one out a little bit. Ah, hate to pull it, but oh well, sorry. That works out better. That's much better. <laughs> and then I'll put that blue in here to hold that purple one down. So cute. So again, this is all die cutting and um, kind of what I was looking forward to today. <laughs> Just some die cutting. I wasn't looking to uh, do any coloring today. Okay, and then this little lady. I'm just gonna pop her up, but you know what? Maybe I will cut a yellow center. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do for that. So I'm gonna cut another one of these larger out, but with a yellow, and then I'll have a yellow center for her, but I'll be right back. Real quick, now, I only want the yellow center from this, but you're gonna say, and I'm gonna have to do something special because I wanna hold her up in the air. So I'm gonna glue it up in the air, then it needs to have something in the back that's gonna hold this down, right? So all I'm gonna do is take a piece of something like this, I'm going to try to cut it by eye, just eyeballing that and see if that's big enough to sit behind here without showing. And I guess you could just do that too. <laughs> I just need something back here that's going to help. See, uh, and, and that's fine too, but I already cut that center piece, so I'm going to let it sit in there. But for now, what I want that yellow piece is to give me some something for this to hold on to in the background. All right. Okay. And now I can pop that yellow center in. Okay, I'm gonna let this sit and dry and then we'll continue on. We're ready. That'd be cute too to put more flowers out, just all over. Uh, just deck it out with tons of flowers. They cut out very easily and they're a good size, so easy to do. So I'm gonna pop this guy up. Ooh, a brand new gel right there that's cute okay and then we have plenty more of uh, fun things that we can place here and there just to kind of fill in the spot and use it all up oopsie I'm gonna stick to my finger. <laughs> All right. Kind of want to stick out for a little further, so I'm kind of bringing them out as far as I can. Cute. And then I have a couple more little leaves. Hmm. Trying to eyeball where I want to put this. Hmm. Not a hundred percent sure on that one. Okay. And you can three D glue gel these guys too, I suppose. All right, cute. So your card looks like this, and then when it opens up, we're gonna put that center piece in here. And how I'm gonna do this is just, I haven't put any of this in a syringe yet, so I'm gonna have to get the glue. Little chunks like this. And if you don't have 3D glue gel or you don't wanna fuss with um, dimensional adhesives, just glue it down flat, that's fine too. Um, I'm gonna put a bunch of little pieces like this all over and I'll be right back. Okay. Let me put the lid on that.
And by the way, there are other, um, and I should have pulled those out, other circles that you can use with this same set. They have a bunch of circle, like uh, one's called botanical something or other, and then another one that has more sentiments. So you can uh, pick up more of them so your card, you can use this for more than just a many things. And it's just a circle. I mean, we have plenty of circle dies that you can obviously pop in here. Um, very cute. So I'm trying not to smash it because again, it's nice and wet still. So there's your card. It fits in a Saturday two size uh, envelope. And then when the person opens it up, it says many thanks. Very, very cute. Again, I remember doing them this way. So if you want to do it this way, you can do it that way. Do that. Decorate it. You still have the same mats. They'll fit perfectly. And then um, when you open it up, you can decorate this side too and however you want to use it. So I just use it the way they recommended. But again, it's just a flip card that basically used to look like this, but they're like, oh, let's decorate the other side instead. <laughs> okay, so thanks for watching, guys. Uh, the link's in the description box. Um, again, super inexpensive, especially if you're uh, a member of the any of the kit clubs, even the $15 kit club, the small kit um, of the month, you get your 10% off. So I don't think they have the 10% off on the things that were like a dollar, three dollars, but I know they do take it off of the ones that are like 10 and up. So, um, I'll see you guys the next one. Bye now.